Bad Wars is one of the most popular minigames in Minecraft. A lot of people love playing it. And aside from Skyblock, it is the most popular minigame on the most popular Minecraft server, Hypixel. So naturally, people also want to play Bad Wars on their own Minecraft server, where they can play with their own custom maps. And that is precisely what I will be showing you today. Because I'm going to show you how to set up Bad Wars on your own Minecraft server using a plugin called Screaming Bad Wars. Make sure to subscribe. So before we begin, you first want to download Screaming Bad Wars. There will be a link to the plugin page down below. Simply go there, click on download, drag the jar file into your plugins folder and then reboot your server. After doing that, you will need a Bad Wars map. Now you can either build one yourself or just download one online. I'm very bad at building, so I have downloaded this one. Really doesn't matter how you get it but you need one. Now, the first thing you need to do is create the arena itself. To do that, we're going to type slash BW, which of course stands for Bad Wars, then admin. Then you want to type in the name you want your arena to have. So I'm going to call it uh, subscribe. <laughs> There we go. And then last but not least, type add. By executing this command, you will create a new arena. Okay, cool. That's done. Easy. The next thing we want to do is select this entire arena. So go and fly all the way to the bottom corner of your arena. Make sure that everything is in between these invisible lines. Also make sure you're beneath every single block. And then you want to type a slash a BW. Then the name of your arena. And then POS1. Just like that. Press enter and there. There we go. Now we're going to fly to the other side. But now instead of under the arena, we're going to be above it. Also make sure that everything is in between these invisible lines. So truly your entire arena is selected. And then you want to type the same command, but now POS. Two. Position 2 of subscribe has been set. That is amazing. So our arena has now been created. The next step is going to be adding teams. So to add a team, you once again want to write a command. It is going to be a BW, admin, then the name of your arena, and then you want to type team add after that the name of your team this doesn't have to be the color you can make it the color if you want but it's not mandatory so i'm gonna call it uh, epic <laughs> and then you want to choose a color so for this one i'm gonna go for magenta because magenta looks cool and then last but not least you want to set the maximum size of players that can be on that particular team so for the purpose of this video i'm just gonna set it to one but if you want to play like a huge game of Bad Wars, you can even set it to 8, so keep that in mind. And then I'm gonna press enter, and there we go. The epic team was created with the color magenta and the maximum player count of 1. Now I'm gonna do the same thing again, so the exact same command, but instead of epic, I'm gonna call the second team legend. The legend color is gonna be orange, and I'm also gonna set a player count of 1. So we got an arena now, and we have some teams. Next up, we're gonna set spawn locations. So over here, I've created a beautiful uh, magenta team color, and there is the orange one. Let's go to magenta first. I'm just gonna stand over here, which is the location where the players should spawn as soon as the game starts. Then I'm gonna type slash uh, BW admin, the name of your arena, so subscribe, then team spawn and the name of the team you want to set a spawn for so in this case magenta is going to be epic for me press enter and there we go the spawn of team epic has been set so this is now the epic team let's fly over to orange let's stand over here and do the exact same thing but now for team legend there we go so the next thing you want to do is select a bet for each team now if you don't want to use a bet but you want to use another block like for example a dragon egg that will turn it into egg wars and you can do that you can also use a cake and you can even use a respawn anchor you don't have to do anything different for this you just have to replace the bed with an egg or a cake or a respawn anchor and then you can select that block when setting a team bed location but the way you want to select the bed is go stand on top of it go to the head of the bed look down on it and then type a bw then the name of your team then you want to type a team bed and then your team name so in my case, it is going to be legend. Now, if you would use an egg or a cake, then this command will be the same. You will still type team bet 
and then your team name. Even though it might not be a bet. So we're gonna press enter and there we go. Bet of Team Legend has been selected. Now we're gonna go over to Team Epic again. We're gonna stand on top of the bet, look down, and then do the exact same command. But this time we're gonna type Epic. Bet has been selected. So now that we've set the bets, we've set the spawn points, it is time for the resource generators. Now in Hypixel, on your own island, you of course have an iron slash gold generator. Then on this island will be the diamond generator and over here in the middle you will have emerald now this is how it works on hypixel but that is not how this plugin works with this plugin you have a bronze iron and gold generator and diamond and emerald are not in the game by default now if you for some reason want it precisely like hypixel there's an add-on for screaming bad wars that will make everything look and feel precisely like hypixel bad wars if that is something that you want i will leave a link to the download page down below so you can get it install it and set it up just like hypixel so for this video i will set it up with the default screaming bad wars settings so let's go over to the epic team island let's go and stand here on the spawn location and over here you want to execute the command uh, bw then your arena name after that a spawner and then the one you want to put on your own base is bronze if you have the hypixel add-on installed you can set gold and iron here but for me it's gonna be bronze so there we go then you want to go to this first island thingy where usually in hypixel the diamond generator would be and here you want to set iron and then last but not least in the middle we're gonna set gold there we go now you of course want to do this for all of your teams now something that you can also do when executing this command is add a true or a false at the end by setting it to true there will be a hologram above the spawner and if you set it to false there will be no hologram now just to show you what the difference is i will not set a hologram over here but i will set it on true for iron and for gold so then at the end you can actually see what the difference is and how that looks and what you prefer so we're pretty much done just a couple more things we need to do like for example adding the store so let's go to team legend again let's break inside of here let's go and stand on the location where you want your merchant to be and then we're gonna type a bw then your arena name then store add and then the name you want the store to have so you can call it a villager shop you can call it a dealer you can call it a seller it's really up to you i'm just gonna go for a villager shop why not so we're gonna press enter and there we go this will now be a shop now by default in this plugin there will just be a single shop though with the hypixel add-on you can of course add another one and that one would go over here so let's quickly do the same thing on the other islands there we go beautiful okay so we are literally almost finished just a couple more commands we need to execute one of them is setting a lobby now, the lobby is basically the place where players will be teleported to as soon as they join a game i'm gonna set my lobby here above the arena i'm gonna build a nice little platform there we go and then on here you want to execute the command a bw subscribe and then lobby press enter and beautiful then you want to set a spectator spawn location so in bed wars after you die you will be set to spectator mode and you can spectate whoever is still alive and playing now you can let this spectator spawn be the same as your lobby or you can just set it anywhere else i'm gonna do it on top of the tree <laughs> why not so i'm gonna stand here and then i'm gonna execute a bw admin arena name and then spec and then now there is just a single command left to execute now, before we do that, there is some customization. If you type BW admin subscribe, you're also able to customize the time of day. So when you do arena time, you will be able to select what time of day it is while in the arena. You can also determine the weather. So if you want a rainy map, you can do that. You can also change the prefix. You can even change the boss bar color or the lobby boss bar color. There is quite a lot of customization here. And I would highly recommend you just going through all this, customizing your settings, to the way you like now after doing all of that customization you just want to do slash bw admin arena name and then save and this will save your arena the game has been successfully saved and is running you can now join and play in the arena that is some cool stuff so now that the whole arena has been created it is time to create a join sign so people can actually join your bad wars game so the way you want to do that is first of all go to your lobby this is my lobby then you want to place down a sign type one of these brackets Bad Wars 
just like that. I don't know if the capital B and W are mandatory, but I would do it just in case. And then on the second line, you want to type the name of your arena. So for me, that's going to be subscribe. Be aware that this is case sensitive. So because I made my arena name with a lowercase s, I'm also going to give it a lowercase s here. They want to click on done and there we go go bed wars subscribe waiting zero out of two so now we can just click here and there we go the game will begin shortly we're inside of the lobby we got a couple items in our inventory so we got the team selector i can choose between team epic which is magenta and team legend which is orange so you can just switch between them like you can see the item in your inventory will change depending on the team you're in then here we got a little item that says start game and here on the right we got a slime ball that says leave game now i don't think start game will work because they're, they're, yeah but when I right click the slime ball, I will leave the game and I will just be spawned <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. Now the reason for that is that the place where I just spawned is the main spawn of the server. But something that we can actually do is we can set a main lobby. So let me extend this island a little bit. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stand here and then I'm going to type slash a BW main lobby and then enable. So that is something you need to do first. You first need to enable it. After executing that command, you first have to reload the plugin so we're gonna do bw reload then you want to do slash bw main lobby set there we go command executed successfully so now if we join a game and we leave again we will be teleported back to this main lobby location and not the spawn point of your actual minecraft world which is somewhere over there in the void but something else pretty cool which you can do is add a hologram so when i for example go stand over here and i then type a uh, bw add holo and i want to add a hologram for leaderboards there we go a hologram has been created bad wars leaderboards with currently uh, only me <laughs> and you can also create a hologram for your stats so there we go you can see your kills deaths wins loses everything all the information you want to see uh, you can see over here pretty cool stuff i would say so to test out if everything actually works we're here together with bradshop my second minecraft account how you doing? So let me join this epic subscribe game. There we go. Then Bradshop will join too. Oh, he is so ready. <laughs> and then after you're here, you just want to click on start game. And there we go. The game has started. I'm in team epic. Now I'm going to cheat a little bit because I want to show you some stuff. So this is the bronze generator. Standing here will just give you bronze, which is just brick. And then when we fly over here, you can see the iron generator, which from the looks of it will spawn one iron every 10 seconds. And then here in the middle we got the gold generator which will give one gold every 20 seconds now you can gather all of these materials and go to the villager shop isn't that right mr villager so we can just talk to him and over here you can purchase stuff now once again this shop looks very different from what a shop in hypixel for example would look like if you've downloaded the hypixel add-on then this will all look like a hypixel but in this case i'm gonna first go for armor and like you can see these are all things we can purchase so i can purchase a chainmail chest plate with protection 2 for 3 iron and there we go beautiful now we can purchase something like a sword for example uh this stick because all of this stuff we can only purchase for iron please also note that everything in this shop and all the generators are completely customizable in the config. And now we're gonna build towards Team Legends. So I'm gonna build very legitimately all the way to the Legend Islands. There we go. I totally did that. And now here we can see Mr. Brad shop still standing there. I hope he's good. Now we can of course also use his shop if we want. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna destroy his bed. So in game mode survival, you just break it. And there we go. Bed of Team Legends has been destroyed. There's now an X in front of the Legend team name. Meaning that Bradsha will now no longer respawn. And now I can just kill him. So this will take a long time. But maybe we can just get him off the island. Uh, there we go. And beautiful. Are you serious? Did you survive that? Come on. There we go. We've done it. Hey, your team won. Kassasara killed Bradshop. And we're set back to the main lobby. And it's... Okay. 
Now you can also see the difference when it comes to the holograms. So over here it says bronze every second. But when we fly over to Bradshop, you can see this spawner doesn't have any of that. So even when he walks off, just like that, you can see there is no text above the spawner. It's just spawning. And then that is gonna be it for today. I really hope you enjoyed watching. Hopefully I could help you out. If I did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You would help me out so much by doing that. And then I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.